Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Number Talks. Hey, today we're working with my friend Laura. She's an old friend from middle and high school. She drives a Jeep now. Laura crossed the street many times in her Jeep. Then she crossed it two more times. All together, she crossed the stream seven times. How many times did Laura cross the stream to start with? You know, there's many different ways to start out. You can use a standard algorithm, but we want you to have a picture in your mind on how this works out. Let's do that. Okay, here's Laura and her Jeep. She crossed a stream two times. All together, she crossed once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, I'm going to put it up here, seven times. So she went across seven times. So, but after she had crossed a few, she had crossed it two more times. How would you figure that out to find out how many times she crossed before she did those last two crossings? I know. Let's erase a couple of these lines. One, two. Those are the times that she crossed after she crossed a bunch of times to come up with seven. So now there's one, two, three, four, five. She crossed the stream in her Jeep five times before she crossed it the last two times. Let's take a look at the standard algorithm. So we know that she crossed it two times. And I'm going to say plus here. I'm going to leave this blank. And that equals 7. How would you figure that out? You know, you could subtract 2 from each side. You know, because 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Or we can count on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Five times. There you go. So that's how we can get it. Five. So not only did we draw the picture, we have a D for understanding, and then we figured out the answer using the standard algorithm to validate our answer. Remember that for when you're doing your math. Use multiple strategies if you're unsure. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And that to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. 